Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana, if this is your first time here and if it's not your first time, welcome back. So I'm vlogging today. I mentioned before that I wanted this treatment. So this is the clear and brilliant treatment. It's like a laser facial kind of thing. I mentioned before on my channel that I wanted to get it and I'm finally going to go get my first one so i decided to vlog i was in a rush so my hair is looking crazy and i'm also starting the vlog up in the car i'm like 10 minutes late my appointment is at 12 but my gps says i'll get there at 12 10 so hopefully that's not a big deal um but yeah so i just wanted to take you guys with me and kind of like document my experience just to show you guys if someone else is interested in getting it too but i know i've been interested in it for a long time now and i'm finally gonna go do it i know i posted a video before of my skin talking about the acne i used to have have and how I had Accutane but since I've cleared up the acne I am left with all these scars and hyperpigmentation dark spots so I kind of want to just get rid of it so I'm gonna do a series of these clear and brilliant treatments so this is the first one and depending on how many I need I'm gonna get more I definitely plan to get at least three if I do have good results after the first one um, but yeah so I'll let you guys know more about it as I go throughout the process All right, so I just parked and now I'm walking down the street. I'm about to walk in. All right, so I have to numb myself. I have a numbing cream right here. So I'm just gonna put it on my skin. It's really cold. adequately numbed. Yeah. Right. On a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, how would you rate this? Mm, when it's like near my hairline, mm -hmm. it, it's, it hurts more. But like when it's on my face, it's probably like four. Okay, so it's tolerable. Yeah, I can't imagine what it would feel like without the numbing cream. Oh yeah, that's why we do the numbing cream. Does anyone ever get it without the numbing cream? Uh, sometimes the old timers, the ones mm. that have done Clear and Brilliant prior to numbing cream. Wow. Or they've done laser hair removal without like the cold chill blaster. Uh, yeah, I've done laser hair removal without anything beforehand. So you're going to be pink the first day, less pink the next day, and back to normal by the third day. And then you'll feel like a sandpapery texture develop across your skin. Mm -hmm. That's basically the dirt and debris from the old skin cells being pushed up to the surface of your skin via the new skin and the new collagen production. We're poking little tiny thermal zones or holes into your skin. and so. We want to keep it as clean as possible. So now it's the other side of the face. Oh, look that way a little bit. Very good. After every section, we're gonna put a little bit of vitamin C okay. to promote the collagen. Gotcha. To stimulate the collagen production, kick it into high gear. Because vitamin C is the building blocks of collagen and it should feel nice and cooling afterwards. So we're done with the forehead. Okay, so what does the first laser do? What does the second laser do? So the first laser is the original handpiece, 
and that's more for fine lines, pore sizes, and texture issues. This one is the Permea, so it increases the permeability of your skin, and therefore when you're using those products, your skincare routine, it is able to penetrate deeper into the skin, so it's wonderful on hyperpigmentation and pigmentation issues. How are you feeling? Good day. You'll be glowing after we're done with you. <laughs> now the other cheek. Very good. All right, so I'm home now. She put some sunscreen on me before I walked out because she said it's really important to stay out of the sun. So yeah, so vitamin C and then sunscreen. And then I just came straight home. So it's been about 30 minutes or so. So when I first got off the table, I was a little spicy. I could feel it. I could feel the burn just a little. But as I drove home 30 minutes later, um, it's kind of mild now. It doesn't really feel like anything. I wouldn't say the procedure hurt. If you have that numbing cream, you'll be fine. But if you do decide to do this, make sure you put that numbing cream along your hairline too, because that's probably where it hurts the most. It's not like unbearable, but you will feel a little sting. Other than that though, everywhere else was pretty good. I could barely feel it whenever she would go over it. I would probably rate the pain on that as like a three or a four. So nothing really concerning, definitely tolerable. Her advice was to get this done every two to four weeks. So I'm hoping that I can do this once a month so I can see some progress because I told myself this year is the year I'm going to start taking care of my skin. Um, this uh, kind of procedure is recommended for people who are in their late 20s early 30s so that's definitely my range and I want to start taking care of my skin before it's too late I know you can't really see anything now um, but she said to expect some redness today of course the first day and then tomorrow the redness will go down third day it should be completely gone however she said your your skin will start to feel like sandpaper so I'm going to document my week for you guys I don't have any plans to go anywhere this week so that's why I thought this week would be perfect um, because later this month y'all know I'm going to Hawaii for my birthday so I wanted to get this done before that also the ladies in that facility were very nice I definitely recommend there and lastly shout out to Priscilla thank you so much for this um, but yeah so that is pretty much it I don't know if I want to do this whole vlog like day by day or if I want to go ahead and post this now and do a separate vlog showing you the progress but yeah so no makeup or anything for the first day and then after that I guess you could start wearing makeup and she said no harsh um, chemicals in your daily cleanser so if you're gonna wash your face make sure that you're using something she said for sensitive skin or something like that and then also she said no hot shower so if you guys have any questions about my experience or anything go ahead and leave a comment below and i'll try to answer to the best of my ability but i know i wanted to put this video out there because when i was looking this up a long time ago i didn't see many brown girls getting this done i think there was a couple out there so i just wanted to contribute in case anyone else is looking for this kind of procedure i know celebrities do it for instance i know megan good has gotten it done but celebrities don't vlog their experiences and let you know like day by day how they're doing and how they're progressing so i just wanted to give you guys something to work with in case you are interested in getting this kind of procedure done or if you've never heard of it and now you want to look into it all right so today is day two it's been a little just over 24 hours since i got the the clear and brilliant laser done so this is what i'm looking like today I don't see as much red, barely any red like at all. Maybe this morning kind of when I woke up, I could kind of tell that there was some redness, but I feel like it's gone now. So tomorrow she said everything should be back to completely normal. Um, I kind of feel like it almost is. So she also said after the redness goes down that I can start to expect my skin to feel like sandpaper. Um, and I can see, I can see it coming because my skin, I wouldn't say it's smooth right now. Um, it's definitely on the like rougher side. And of course, if the texture gets rough, um, I'll let you guys know that too. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what it's looking like on day two. I don't see any immediate differences, so definitely not an overnight kind of thing, so yeah. All right, you guys, checking in for day three. Just got out the shower, washed my face. I didn't put moisturizer on yet because I wanted to show you guys my face like fresh out of the shower. So this is what it's looking like. The redness, I think is completely gone, um, but it is very rough, just like she said it would be, the sandpaper feeling, definitely rough. I was looking at my skin like really closely. I don't think it's gonna show up on the camera, but if you look really closely, you'll see like, 
it's it looks burnt kind of like crisp so definitely feels like it um but yeah it's not irritated or anything hasn't started peeling um if it even is going to peel but yeah just wanted to come in and check in it looks like i didn't do anything at all so but my skin does feel tight but that could be because of my cleanser i don't know but anyways i'm about to take my trash out braid my hair up and do my nighttime skincare routine so i will check in with you guys tomorrow day four um not much of a difference at all so i'm not gonna spend too much time talking but this is my face everything is pretty much the same as yesterday no difference from yesterday to today still rough um maybe you can see how my nose is a little red maybe i don't know like a little burnt like if you look really closely it's burnt so um yeah just rough and that's it all right you guys i'm coming back for another update i skipped a day maybe two i don't know because i didn't see any differences so i didn't want to waste y'all's time but i i still don't even really see a difference in anything it could be because i'm looking at it every single day i don't know maybe i'll look at the footage and see oh there is a difference i do see where it was lasered it got darker and so there's like some light patches making its way back in but hyperpigmentation still full blown all over my face so i'll definitely need follow-up appointments and stuff like that but um we'll do that next month maybe or i don't know something else i wanted to try was microneedling and the prp the vampire facial so um i want to do that too so i don't know we'll have to see but i just wanted to show you guys update you guys um if there's any drastic changes between now and i guess a few days from now i'll let y'all know but for now i'm gonna go ahead and end this video um i feel like it's been long enough so yeah um this is it this is what i'm gonna leave y'all with but if something changes, like I said, I'll come back and let you guys know. But for now, it still just feels a little bit rough. Um, yeah. So other than that, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching until this part of the video. And I post every Sunday, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. And other than that, you guys, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye, guys.